It's Johnny from WP Johnny. Today's just a public service announcement. So um, I wanted to just compare underscores to hyphens, uh, what to name your file names or your usernames or your database names. So I'm, I made a post, it's gonna be released soon, as soon as this video is finished. Uh, there's, there's different uses. So for SEO use, um, putting a hyphen is better than an underscore because a hyphen clearly creates a, the space separation. Uh, for, for programming stuff, some programming languages can't do hyphens, some can't do underscores, etc., whatever. Uh, most of you don't worry about that. Uh, for UI experts, right, um, user interface experts, they'll tell you that hyphens look better in your file names because your eyes aren't constantly being pulled to the bottom of, of, the, of the word, right? Uh, and then for usability experts, they say hyphens are better because you don't have to hold the shift key to create, you know, because underscores, you have to hold the shift key to create it. Hyphens, you just hit the minus key on your keyboard. But for me as a developer and as a server admin, I'll tell you hyphens drive me crazy. So let me show you what I mean. Um, I made some text strings. So you see this right here. If I double click this, it highlights the whole thing, right? So it's very easy on, very easy off because it's all underscores. Um, if I try to do this, you see this, right? So every time I, I um, okay, underscores, it's all on. If it's hyphens, it's like that. Uh, periods, punctuations. So you can see it creates a separation like that. So I say this because I'm messing with like 10, 20 different sites, different servers every day. And uh, there are so many times when it's been hard to copy over like database names or user usernames just because people put a hyphen. So anyways, I'm just telling you guys, if you can, unless this is like a file name that's gonna be read um, like by an SEO, by a search engine, or by real human visitors, or uh, that it's a, it's a password that needs all kinds of you know, fancy characters to be difficult, uh, if it's just database name, username, or some kind of obscure file name, please use an underscore. You're gonna make my life easier, and I'll be so much happier. Thank you guys for watching.